The CC opened 11 ballot boxes in the municipality of Leja, where by the end of the recount, a difference of four votes has resulted. The Interior Minister Sander Leshai from Hani Hotit has responded to the accusations by the opposition over the political arrests, all while stressing that the war on crime continues. President Mehta has rejected to appoint Skunder Janushi to the head of the Academy of Sciences, arguing that the election process held on May 24th presented significant legal problems. It's 6 o'clock on Friday, the 12th of July, 2019. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to RTV Aura's English edition. My name is Oliver, bringing you the only daily update of the local Albanian news translated into English. Making headlines tonight, the Central Election Commission has opened 11 ballot boxes in the Leja municipality, where, as expected, the results in question were unaffected. At the end of the recount, only four votes were different from the reported score tables. Although the Cent Central Election Commission established the principle of opening ballot boxes, the election materials, which were formally sought after by the Democratic Party, remained the problem. The Central Election Commission refuses to offer the materials to the opposition, while the member of the CEC, Bledar Skanderi, said that the Democratic Party Party could only retrieve them in the archive. Meanwhile, the Democratic Party has called the opening of the ballot boxes ridiculous. The Electoral Affairs Secretary, Evi Caso, said that the Central Election Commission refused transparency, while adding that the box of materials, including the voter lists, should be opened. But the Socialist Party thinks differently. The spokeswoman of the Socialist Party, Elisa Spiropali, called the opening of 11 ballot boxes in the municipality of Lege an act that undermines the opposition's alibi for the municipality manipulation of the June 30th elections. It seems that the Democratic Party will have trouble in administering evidence against the June 30th election process while the Central Election Commission has expressed their readiness to offer up any camera footage on the counting process. Next up, out of Hani Hotit at the inauguration of the new building at the border crossing point, the Interior Minister, Sander Leshai, responded to the Democratic Party's allegations of political arrests over the attacks on the CAZ before June 30th. When asked about the uncovered sophisticated weapons in Elbasan, in addition to the suspension of many police officers, Leshai spoke about the regulation. Even upon the arrival of Europol in Tirana, he denied rumors that it was related to rising criminality, as opposition accuses, but said that the opening of the office is evidence of trust. The new building at the Hani Hotit border point is an investment amounting to 45 million lek from the state budget, which completes the investment made by the European Union through the IPA program in 2012. Moving on, the constitutional changes from 2016 have now been reflected in the new regulation by the Assembly, which received a consensus of approval in the Parliamentary Commission of Laws. Realtor Vasilika Husi clarified that the amendments do not intend to return immunity to any MPs. The regulation provides disciplinary measures for any MPs who violate the rules of lobbying, receiving gifts, and or conflicts of interest. Regarding the security service in the Assembly, the President, the Speaker of the Assembly, the Prime Minister, the Prosecutor, and the Ambassadors are excluded from physical controls. Earlier in the day, the meeting was dismissed by MP Adriak Alimavi after rejecting the request for the postponement of the Commission. Discussions over the regulations by the Assembly last for almost two years, and it has now been determined that by Thursday of next week, the draft decision will pass on to Parliament. For its approval, 71 votes are needed. The Court of Appeals in Škoder has dialed down the security measures for the four arrested individuals after the attack on the Commissions of Electoral Administration Zones No. 3 in Škoder, while acquitting one individual of all charges. The Court of Appeals has imposed an obligation to appear for Alfred Nicolai, Gentin Butucci, Adi Garuzzi, and Alex Ndoy. Meanwhile, Chesk Toma has been relieved from all the previous security measures and his ban has been determined illegal. The individuals in question were arrested following the attack on the CAZ No. 3 near Shenyazi Yuka School, in which the election materials were set ablaze before the June 30th voting took place.
Skinder Janushi has not received President Mehta's approval to lead the Academy of Sciences. The head of state refusing his appointment, arguing that the election process presents significant legal problems. The president of the Albanian Republic stated, the constitution has given a special role to the president of the Republic that cannot be based solely on an officially filed application. As a neutral institution, it has the duty to verify whether the legal and constitutional mechanisms have functioned properly so as not to violate the constitutional principles. In the president's reasoning, he states that Janushi has been a regular member of the academy while at the same time serving as the chair of the Social Democratic Party of Albania, acts that are in conflict with the law. He went on to say, the status of a regular member of the Academy of Sciences cannot be exercised in parallel with the performance of high governing functions in political parties. According to the verifications carried out by the presidency, Janushi appears to have held the post of party chair even during the rolling out of the elections. The request for resignation from the Socialist Democratic Party functions was made on June 3rd, 10 days after the elections. Meta stating, it results that on May 10th of 2019, when his interest for candidacy was expressed, and on May 24th of 2019, the day when the elections for the chair of the Academy of Sciences in Albania were held, Skender Janushi was legally representing himself as the chair of the Socialist Democratic Party. It turns out that the electoral process conducted on May 24th at the Academy of Sciences for the election of the chairman represents a significant legal problem. This state of illegality makes it impossible for the President of the Republic to exercise his powers under Article 92G of the Constitution to appoint the chairman of the Academy of Sciences. In a reaction to RTV Ora, Janushi says the President has no right to reject the decree as it is not serving as an investigative commission. Janushi's election at the head of the Academy of Sciences was also rejected by the renowned academic Artan Fuga. Janushi's election was made possible with the votes of 35 academics in a race without any rivals. Emigration and the lack of governmental policies for keeping its citizens inside the country by guaranteeing goodwill and employment are just some of the reasons why the nation's population continues to dwindle. Sociologists have conveyed their concerns over an imminent social crisis, referring to the UN projection which has sounded the alarm that by the end of the century, the population of Albania will shrink to one million people. The sociolog sociologist by the name of Ergis Muratiri underlined that the country has in fact not contributed to the employment of its citizens, pointing to the high levels of emigration as one of the main reasons for the shrinking population. Moreover, the United Nations has calculate, calculated their projections under a negative scenario which is based on Albania's quick decline of fertility. The results for this scenario are even more alarming as they predict the country's population to decline to just half a million people by the end of the century. Beneficiaries of grants from the cross-border cooperation program between Albania and North Macedonia were presented in Ohrid. Nine projects have benefited from support from the European Union in the framework of the cross-border cooperation program between Albania and North Macedonia. Under the slogan, Creating a Common Future, professionals from different fields discuss the possibilities of cooperation to create sustainable tourism. The current ambassador of the EU in North Macedonia, Samuel Bogar, and the EU ambassador in Albania, Luigi Sureka, reaffirmed their support, while representatives from the governments of Skopje and Tirana emphasized the utility of all development potentials in the tourism sector. And finally tonight, the subjects that produce and trade livestock products from meat to dairy have become a primary focus of the National Food Authority controls in Elbasan due to the purported dangers that consumers may have during these hot summer days. Out of 83 inspections carried out in the month of July alone, 15 administrative measures were taken where in two cases the product was seized. According to the National Food Authority, a high level of attention is being dedicated to monitor, monitoring businesses in tourist-populated tourist areas. The NFA director in Elbasan, Ferdis Kurti, issued a statement saying, all the restaurants where there is a high traffic of tourism will be monitored, but despite the verification being carried out by authorities, it is required that citizens themselves take precaution. Choose carefully the place where to buy your food and thoroughly check any labels or accompanying documentation. 
Curti then went on to say products of animal origin or products that are quickly rotting during this period of time and proper conditions for their storage must be maintained. One must also pay careful attention to their expiration dates. In cooperation with other institutions, the National Food Authority states that the fight against corruption in this sector continues with particular importance for the quality of the product that ends on the consumer's table. And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join us again every Monday to Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of RTV Aura, thank you and have a good night.